Hey guys, what's up? Today I want to show you guys how to make spray out pan. Okay, I finished shaking my paint in the paint shaker. It's nice and mixed. That means that my color is gonna be accurate when I spray it on the panel. We're good to go now. Okay, let's make our spray panel. I'm gonna put this panel on a paint mixing stick. You know, the stick that you get when you go to buy paint, like this. So what I like to do is, because I don't want the paint to be close to my hand, that way I don't get my gloves all full of paint. I get two sticks, two, and I tape them together. Now let's do that. Okay, so the next thing I like to do is, when I'm getting ready to put my spray panel on the sticks, a little crooked there. So when I'm getting to put my spray panel on the sticks, which is, you know, you just put it on the stick like this, that way you can hold it out when you're spraying it. So when I mix my paint, right, I get a paint mix sticker that comes out of my machine when I mix my paint. So what that does is that, that tells me, it tells me all the paints that were in my mix and also tells me the variant that I mixed, which is this number right here. This is the variant that I mixed. And it tells me the time and the date that I mixed it as well. So what I like to do is that, I like to stick this sticker on my panel. Let's do that. Yeah, I stuck it on there. That helps me track what variant this is, and it tells me what was what was put into the mix. That way, if I ever needed to. I can mix straight from this panel and I know exactly what variant this is. Now, <laughs> my sticker is a little bit longer than my panel. It sticks out over here. I'm just going to cut this excess sticker out. It's not really going to affect the way I read this sticker. There. Now I have a nice looking spray panel right see that nice clean spray panel I have my variant there I could always track this and I'm gonna stick it on to my sticks with, with basic masking tape it's the only thing I use to do this <clears throat> yeah. I like to cross it when I'm sticking it on here Here we go. Spray panel. Look. Nice long spray panel. Now I hold it from the bottom. It's far away from my hand. And I can spray my panel. 
Okay, so I want to explain real quick to some of you why I stick that sticker on here. Now, when you stick the sticker on here, you're always going to know what variant you sprayed on this panel. That way, if you get another one of those cars of that make and model, or if you just get another one of those cars with that color code, which most makes of cars like Kia's, Honda's, whatever have you, use the same color on multiple different cars. You want to keep this panel and you want to make sure you have the variant placed on that panel. That way you can always go back to this panel if you see that color code and check it because it's going to happen. If you're painting all the time, you're going to have the same color come up a lot. You want to be able to have a good panel to check those colors, especially if you don't have a system like I have and I can mix as many times as I need to and check variants as many times as I need to. So if you're, let's say, buying paint from a paint store, you always want to be able to keep these panels and track them. Now, if you can't get the sticker like I get from my computer, what you want to do is when it's on the can that you're buying, get the variant that you bought and write it down with a piece of paper or write it down on the panel because there's areas where you could write down on the panel write it down write down the variant and then once you write down the variant and the color code you'll always have that panel to your access to check colors when you're going to paint cars okay let's start spraying this panel out okay i have my panel i have some sealer in my gun i'm going to seal my bumper and cover up this panel. Now you don't necessarily need to put seal on these panels. You can just spray paint on them. You should be good. As long as you cover it good. As long as you cover these things good, you're good to go. Four to five coats of base coat on the panel, and you're good. Okay, so what I usually like to do is, I usually spray two coats on the panel. I spray one coat, blow dryer for like a minute, spray a second coat on there, and then I start covering my car. While I let those two coats dry, I spray my car with two coats down, and then I come and spray the two last coats, which will make four coats. And that's how I make my panel. So let's get started. Okay, here we go. Two coats. Clear coat is good enough for the panel. Just make sure you cover it completely. You know, cover it good, put one good, nice coat on your panel. And then we're ready to check the color. Okay, so I'm gonna go to check my colors. I'm gonna check it in a couple of different panels. First, I'm gonna check it on my door, which is the door that I'm blending, just to make sure that the color is close enough to blend and look good on the door. Then I'm gonna check it on my trunk lid because I'm not painting the trunk lid, so I wanna make sure that the color is good enough match so that it doesn't look like day and night when I move the paper and the quarter panel is painted. That match has to be good because the trunk lid is not getting blended. So I want this color to be close enough so that the match of the color isn't noticeable on the trunk lid since they're not painting the trunk lid or blending. So let's do that. Let's check this door. Now I am 
because the door is sanded, it has no shine. I am gonna spray it with a little bit of prep salt to make it shine to check the color on the panel and on the door. So the, the, the prep salt is just gonna bring up the shine on the door for me to check it. So I spray it. And I'm gonna check my color. So as you can see, the prep salt makes the door shine because this is sanded and I wouldn't be able to check an accurate color if I don't have some shine on here to check the color. So I sprayed the prep salt on there just to give it that shine so I could check the panel. Now let me show you the panel. That color looks pretty good. I like that color. I think that color is very good. It's close enough so that I can blend that door. Now I'm gonna check it on the trunk lid back there to make sure that the color matches that as well because we're not painting that. And I'm basically panel painting this quarter panel to that trunk lid. Check the trunk lid. Now I'm just gonna tear off a piece of the plastic because I wanna check the color close to close to the panel where it, it is. And I'm also gonna spray the panel, even though it's shiny, with a little bit of prep salt, just to bring the shine up a little bit. It just helps it be as shiny as the clear is. So, here we go. Let's check this. I hope the camera can pick this up, guys. I, I have a hard time trying to find an angle to show you guys. But to me, that color looks basically almost spot on. And that's odd to get a color, color match that good. That's pretty good. But you see that match? That's what you want. You want a good 90, 95% match. If you can't get it that close, you might have to blend that deck lid. So, you know, when I masked this car up, I didn't know I had, I, I didn't have any chips because I always have chips. But I'm glad that this color matches as good as it does, guys. That is a very, very good color match. So guys, make sure to put clear on your panels and check them just like I did. I took the plastic off of it just to make sure that that panel back there matches. I checked it on my blend door. The color looks good. It's in 90 to 95% color match. It's a good color match and you're good to go. Now, I'm gonna finish up this car and finish up with giving you a couple of tips on panels. Now, for the most part, I know that most people that make spray out panels, they make them one time and they toss them once they check the color and they painted the car. I don't do that because I don't wanna have to keep mixing and mixing every time I got a color code that I might not have a good panel for. So what I like to do is I save them. That's why in the beginning of the video, I told you to stick the sticker that indicates the variant of the spray panel on the panel. Or if you can't, if you don't got the sticker because you're buying your paint at a paint supplier, what you can do is the panels on the back have areas where you can write on them. So what you wanna do is you wanna get the number of the variant that you just sprayed and the alternate that it is because variants have, you know, darker, lighter, redder, there's a lot of different kinds of variants that you can be mixing and they have different shades of the color that you're mixing them to. So you wanna either stick the sticker on there that indicates what that is or you wanna write it down. Get yourself a marker before you stick it on your panel, write it down. So like let's say my color code here would be on the can is, is BR2 and it's a Kia make. So write that down before you throw it away. So let's write Kia. B, B2R is the variant. Now I'm doing this a little bit sloppy because I'm holding the camera with one hand and writing with the other. But then the variant is this number right here. Now this is the standard variant, so there's no darker or lighter to this variant. And this matched good, so I'm good to go. I could just finish spraying my car. But I am gonna put that number on there 
if I don't have the sticker on there like I have. So just write that number down. There we go. That's the variant, right? Variant on your panel, right? Now, when you go to, if you ever run into this color again, you have this to check your color with, right? Now this is in your hands, you gotta put away, and if you're, or, if you're organized like me, you can get right to this panel. Now this is how I keep my panel organized. And it's nothing crazy, it's just two boxes that I keep with all my spray out panels. All of my spray out panels in, two boxes. And so what I do is, I just get cardboard from around the shop, make the box as best as I can. You see that? I make the box, I tape it up to the size of my panels. Now I used to have bigger panels before, that's why these boxes are bigger. And then what I do is I get other pieces of cardboard, make them a little bit bigger, and write down the make of the car in different sections so that I can separate everything and keep all of my panels nice and organized. So I have one for every make of car that I get to paint. Every make has different color codes and I have different, I have all of these separated by make. And I keep them all stored away efficiently. This keeps me working way more efficiently I can get my job done quicker because I have the panel made, I check the panel, it's a nice big panel that I can get a better accurate reading of when I'm checking the color and if I ever run into that color again where I don't have any of these panels to check my variants with, I have already made them, stored them away and I can go straight to painting the car without having to worry about whether or not the color matches, right? So, yeah, this is just as easy as making some boxes and labeling each make of the car. This is gonna be a big time saver for you, whether or not you have these chips. Now, I understand the people that are going to buy paint. This is probably gonna be way more helpful for you because if you're gonna continuously keep painting cars, putting away these panels is gonna save a lot of your time because you're gonna know that the color matches once you make these panels and store them away the way I did so guys that is it for me for today I am gonna go finish spraying that car and I really hope that these tips were helpful please hit that like button if you like this video subscribe if you haven't already hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I post a new video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye peace I want to show you now that the plastic is off, how good the color matched after we checked our pan. Look at that. That's almost a perfect color match on that panel that I panel painted. Basically almost a perfect, that's basically almost a perfect color match on that panel. That's beautiful. That's it. See, check your colors, and you have a good color match like that, you're good to go. See you guys.